Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you a quick tutorial in After Effects about optical flares and how to motion track the center point of a flare onto whatever you want, so you can get something looking a bit like this. So as you can see, that looks pretty flawless because I've motion tracked it and rather than animating it by hand. Now the way usually people do this is by actually motion tracking the entire flare layer, which looks a bit like that. And as you can see, there's edges there, and the elements of the flare follow the main part of it. So that doesn't look very good. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it properly. Okay, so the first thing you'll be doing is just create a new composition with your fiddle, and just go ahead and straight away and motion track that. So for this track, you don't actually need to create a new null object, unlike other tracks. And you'll see why in a second. So just choose your track point. You only need one. Oops. And I'm just going to choose up here, because that looks like a pretty distinct point. Alright, and then just analyze forward a couple of frames. Okay, and so when that's done, you should have all these keyframes here of the track point. So what you're going to want to do is just go down into your footage layer and go to Motion Trackers, Tracker 1, Track Point 1, and ignore these keyframes. Just take the top layer here. So copy all of these keyframes and just go copy. So you're going to want to go up to here and create a new layer, new solid, and this will be for our flare, so we'll just call it flare. Now go into effects, video copilot, optical flares, and just choose the optical flare of your choice. I'm going to choose bleak, and we'll just go render mode and put it over on transparent, because it's on a different layer. Put that over your flare, boost up the brightness more. And then to just sim to get it to track on that light, we're going to go down here. We're going to go to effects, optical flares, position X Y. I'm just going to go Control V to paste all those frames that you put on before. Now, as you can see, it's motion tracked. Well, I did a bit down there, but it works. Okay, and so that is how you can motion track a flare onto a position and get it looking pretty much flawless. Hope this tutorial helped, and I'll see you next time.